Last December, our Lake Fellow weekly seminar was led by Ibu Patel. Ibu founded Interfaith Youth Corps, now Interfaith America, in 2002 while on a Rhodes Scholarship at Oxford. For 20 years now, he has led efforts to foster interfaith cooperation, community service, and civic transformation. In 2022, he published his eighth book titled, We Need to Build. Our conversation centered on Ibu's thesis that institutions like ours need to recommit themselves to the hard work of building a more gentle community, a more faithful world, a better future. He shared his admiration for denominations like the Presbyterian Church USA and for congregations like Second Presbyterian Church whose reputation for leadership and constructive ministry is deeply established by generations of faithful builders. He also challenged us to lean into that spiritual and institutional DNA, to be even more intentional about building courageously and collaboratively. He said, we need churches like yours to do what you're uniquely good at doing. We need you to build. I'm convinced he's right. And we have a wonderful biblical tradition to draw from as we consider our collective call to rebuild. In the Hebrew scriptures, we call the Psalms and the prophets, God's people are in exile. Their hope is fading, their vision is failing. In the most desperate of times, God calls a community together and gives them a promise. Exile will end rebuilding will follow. As we continue the celebration of Easter at second, we'll be immersed in the Old Testament's vision of rebuilding and in our call to do the same. We have a God-given responsibility. So join us in worship as we explore it together. We'll see you this spring at second.